Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. Well, today is another unboxing day because we have a new bike to reveal. And so we got to get it out of the box and put it together and yeah, see, uh, see what it can do. So today we're going to be taking a look at a Zora Master. Now you might be thinking, what's a Zora Master? Well, that's a smaller company. You may not have heard of them before, but uh, you know, we're going to take a look at their product and see what it's all about. The Zora Master is a cargo style e-bike. And I'm excited for it because one, I like the color, and two, I haven't had a cargo style e-bike on this channel before, and I think it's priced in the uh, the range of maybe being a good contender uh, uh, up against the electric XP, no, the electric Expedition. So uh, let's just jump in and take a look and see what we got. And as you can see, I already took a peek at the box and I got the flap open. Let me show you what I found inside. Okay guys, so I'll tell you right from the start, I am just a little disappointed when I open this box up. First of all, the box came, it's in pretty good condition. There is a couple of gashes uh, on the box uh, from, from where it was uh, transported. I mean, you got to think, these guys come from, from somewhere in China, so they get handled in a warehouse, they get put on trucks, they get put on possibly trains, they get put on a boat. Uh, it comes across the ocean, it comes to here to the United States, it gets put on another uh, truck, it gets taken to warehouses, and and you know eventually it makes its way across to the consumer and uh so you have to expect that these boxes are going to have some wear and tear and there's a big hole right there so you know this is going to happen but when you open up the box and then you see you know this super thin foam as being the primary means to protect the bike that's, you know, you just got to hope that everything turned out okay during shipping. I mean, here we have forks uh, that are up against the, uh, the box there, so I hope there's nothing damaged there. Um, and we'll open up over here. And, and one thing you might notice, and first of all, let me show you the end of the box here. You know, the, the box is right side up. Okay, there's the handles, there's the writing, but the bike is upside down in this box. And when you start digging around just a little bit, we do have a package here with some goodies in it we'll get to that in a little bit but yeah so it's just I don't know it's just upside down I'm not sure why they would ship it upside down because all the other bikes that I have received were right side up and honestly the the packaging was was better but we'll get to that and you know guys I think this is gonna be the handlebars right here we'll, we'll figure that out so it looks like there's gonna be maybe a little more assembly required there's something down there I can get it. There's okay, so there's a toolkit, and that's great to have. It's just kind of loose, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm hopeful. Uh, but look at that color. That's what. Wow. I like that color a lot. Looks like uh, maybe the bottom half of the battery there. There's. I'm not sure what that is. We'll unwrap it and figure it out. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this out of the box and make sure there's nothing damaged, and then we'll get uh, we'll get going with putting this thing together.
All right, so we've got almost all the packaging off now, just a little bit there on the tire, and I missed one up there on the front fork, but so far the rest of the bike is looking great. I'm not seeing any damage at all, which, you know, I was expecting to see. There's, there's a mark right there on the luggage rack, but that's okay. But I was expecting to see maybe a little bit more scratches and damage because of the way this thing was packaged, but it did survive the trip. I'm not noticing anything, so yeah. And also the assembly looks about the same as any other typical bike. You're going to have to add your, your front tire, your seat, your fenders. Uh, we got the rack there we're going to have to add, and of course the pedals. So that's all pretty standard. What I thought was possibly the front handlebars, because it kind of looks like a BMX style when it was packaged up, is actually the kickstand. And they give you a very large kickstand to support this bike, which I like. I've seen other cargo bikes that had really small ones. So I like the fact that you got a really big one there. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the assembly process on this so we can see what it looks like. Okay, guys, we turn the, the bike upside down to make it just a little bit easier to work with. We have it sitting on the back rack and also on the seat here just to uh, kind of stabilize it a little bit better. Keep that off the ground. And we were just uh, installing the kickstand. And all it is is there's three bolts right here. You just line up the holes and uh, attach those three bolts and uh, then the kickstand is attached. And at first I thought it might be a problem because I thought the chain was gonna rub, but it doesn't. When the kickstand is down, you know, that's fine sitting there. When it opens up, there's plenty of space here, uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't rub. And so that's installed and we're moving on to the next step. Okay, the fender goes on as easy as what we would expect. You just attach the fender to the same uh, screw, using the same screw that holds on the headlight. And so you just take that screw out put the fender in place there and go ahead and reattach that screw, making sure it's locked down nice and tight. And that holds the fender in place. And of course, you know, this is a, a metal uh, fender, so that's really nice that it's metal and not plastic. And then here's our support arms that will attach, uh, presumably right here at the bottom of the forks, but we'll find out once we get the tire in place. Putting the handlebars on was relatively easy. All you need to do is, it's easier if you loosen up the two screws that hold the display so you can squeeze or push the display out of the way and then remove the four screws right here that hold this top bracket on. And then you set your handlebars in place. And now all I need to do is go ahead and reattach all four screws and tighten them down. And then the handlebars will be nice and secure. Of course, when you do that, you wanna make sure you rotate the handlebars and get it in a comfortable position where you'd like to have it for your riding comfort. And then after that, make sure you go ahead and position the display exactly where you like it and make sure you tighten down those screws as well one on each side there now while we're assembling the bike we went ahead and took out the battery so that we can start charging it so we've got it connected here it's got the uh, access point right here on the side of the battery so you can charge the battery on or off the bike i just went ahead and removed it to get it out of the way and make the bike a little bit lighter and we do have it connected to its three amp charger and as you can see we have a light here indicating that uh, it is charging so while that charges, we're gonna continue the assembly process. Okay, so if you want to install the front rack that comes with the bike, or that is optional, uh, you will need to reposition your light, and they make it easy to do because they give you extra uh, wiring here that's all wrapped up nice and tight, nice and neat. Uh, you just undo that. You'd have to take this light off from this uh, bracket right here, and then presumably on the rack itself, somewhere out here is where you would attach that light because right now the light would be in the way uh, for these connection points right here for the, uh, the, uh, the rack. So real simple fix, and you see this on most all bikes, that's what you have to do. You have to uh, reposition uh, the front light and put it out here on the front of the bike and it attaches to the rack. So uh, I do like, some, some bikes give you a, uh, an extension um, uh, wire that you have to plug in to extend the light out. Uh, but they don't give you that here because there's no place to unplug. But what they do give you is they give you all this extra wire here. And it's just wrapped up nice and tight. So I like that. And another thing I'm liking, and we'll talk about this more in the full review. But I am liking the fact that all the wiring here, the wiring management is really good. And you don't always see that on bikes. That sometimes you see a lot of loosey-goosey wires. But this is wrapped nice and tight all the way up here to the controllers. And it's that way on both sides. So I, I like that. Okay, when you get ready to attach the front tire, make sure you remove this spacer right here. It's black and it's hard to see, but there is a plastic spacer here that's gotta be removed so that you can squeeze your disc in between the brake pads. 
and it's easier if you have a pair of pliers to pull that out. Just like that. Now, we have a space in there for the disc to, to fit. I typically don't like to put the bicycle upside down because the risk of scratching up the display and the controls and the handlebars and things. But sometimes it's necessary and it just makes things a little easier, especially for installing the front wheel if you're doing this by yourself. So just make sure you use plenty of padding. And I used the padding that came with the bike and put it on the floor so I could get to it. Now, it did make it easier to go ahead and install the tire and get everything lined up there. I had to do a small repair because the forks were damaged just a little bit during shipping. No fault to Zora, uh, but you know, sometimes that happens with uh, shipping companies. They handle the boxes roughly and things get damaged. But what happened is the top of the forks here were kind of, they were, they were pinched uh, a little tight and one was a, a little crooked so you couldn't get the wheel on. So I just used a heavy duty screwdriver and a pair of pliers and slowly moved it out and was able to get it uh, opened up enough to where I could set the the axle uh, of the tire, you know, down inside there and, and get everything nice and secured. So that's what we did. But while it was upside down, I went ahead and made adjustments to the brakes. And to do that, from the bottom side, you're looking at these two screws right here. One up here on the caliper and one right here on the caliper. And you loosen those up and it allows you to wiggle the entire caliper around just a little bit to make sure it's not rubbing and once you find it on a spot where it's not rubbing at all when you spin the tire then you go ahead and tighten those two screws down and you should be good to go after that Okay, in addition to the bike, Zora sent me a couple of accessories here, and I have two boxes. And it looks like some assembly is required. I'm not sure, but I believe this is the fence, the child fence that goes around the back uh, when you're carrying children. And I'm not sure what this is. There's lots of parts in here, so I'm going to have to break that open and see. But I think this might be uh, either the, the, the back rack or maybe even a front basket. It's pretty big, so I'm guessing it might be the cargo rack that goes on right here which is a rather large rack for call, hauling uh, you know groceries and bigger items so we'll figure that out we're going to get it assembled and we'll show you what it is okay so what we have here it is the uh, the fence that goes on the rear of the bike so we have that assembled and it's there and then we have the two racks we have the smaller rack which will go up front and then the larger rack for the rear and this is a pretty good size rear rack here um, you know, it's about 15 and a half by 20 inches, so it's, uh, it's a good size rack for, for hauling some cargo. And we do have the bike assembled now, and I'll just show you real quick here. We did install the front rack on the front here, and there's the headlight that is attached to the, uh, the front of the rack. And as you can see here, everything went together, went together very nicely. Um, and it, I tell you, it's a sharp looking bike and I just can't get over that color. I mean, that's just, that's an awesome color. It's like a metallic orange or something. It's just, I don't know, just real nice. But hey guys, that's going to be it for this video because I've got to get this thing on the road. I got to get going. We got to start testing it, seeing how uh, it operates, get familiar with it so we can give you a complete and full review. And uh, yeah, so that's what's coming up next. So stay tuned.